Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jada. Feel free to drop a comment down below introducing yourself and tell me your set of the day. My set of the day is I Don't Need a Prince to Be a Princess by Killian, the marshmallowy green tea ginger goodness. That is the one that I'm wearing and I love it. I not enough good things to say. But today I am clearly in the same outfit as my last video. I'm filming multiple videos today but today I'm going to be going over some affordable fragrances that I've been enjoying lately no this is not all of them and I do plan on following up with a part two as I do have some on their way and I know that I'm going to find more affordable fragrances in the near future but I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about a few that I've been enjoying as of late so let's get into it so the first one that I'm going to talk about is Sweet Light Candy by Ariana Grande I bought this a while ago and I uh, kind of forgot about it. I mostly bought it because of the bottle. Um, guys, Walmart. For Ariana Grande fragrances, don't buy it at Ulta. I mean, unless you want to. I'm not, I don't manage your money or anything, but um, they always have Ariana Grande's at Walmart and they're always like $20. It is all pink and really pretty and the pom-pom is what sold me. This is really, really sweet. This is really, really light. This is going to be perfect for spring and summer in my opinion. It's just so sweet and very flirty. And here you're getting pear, bergamot. You definitely do get that little bit of sourness with the bergamot. That current, I would say the black current is really apparent. And so is the whipped cream and the marshmallow definitely pulls through. It's a really versatile fragrance. I don't feel like it's necessarily limited to the day or night. Um, I feel like it's definitely playful. It's definitely a good spring and summer fragrance. Slept on it for a minute. I took it out and I rediscovered it. Guys, that is the best feeling when you rediscover a fragrance. But I definitely do enjoy this and I feel like you guys would definitely get your money's worth out of it. It's definitely more affordable and this is something you can appreciate. Okay. So so the next, the next affordable fragrance I'm going to be discussing is Glade de Coco by Le Monde Gourmand. Online and you see Urban Outfitters, but I have seen a Le Monde Gourmand Instagram. Regardless of whatever this company is, um, I really, really do enjoy this. I've been reaching for it a lot. This is a really creamy, like tonic coconut and I've been just living my best life layering this lately. It's giving me fresh coconut milk. It's very lactonic. It's very creamy in my opinion. I just get like a very creamy um, a happy vibe with this one and again it's very it's giving me daytime. I feel like if you layered it properly it could give nighttime but I definitely feel like this is a layering fragrance. I really really did enjoy layering it with um Layering it with Beach Block. I know this isn't a layering video, but that's a good mix. Um, I layered it with that, and I believe I even used Brazilian Churrosa 39 um, Coconut Cream and Toasted Praline to top it off. And yes, that's a lot, but they're all such light scents that it wasn't overpowering. And I just really, really enjoyed those. I feel like this is a summer staple, a summer spring staple. I live in Florida. It's getting really, really hot right now. Um, I, we're definitely shifting into that season, and I've been all about the coconut lately. Um, so, yeah, guys, this is a really, really good fragrance. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it's very affordable, and I would definitely say get your hands on this. You know, this is such a great fragrance. Great coconut fragrance. The next fragrances, I'm going to include them together, and I decided to include them because you can get these small bottles, and these are Kayali's. Um, these small bottles retail for about $25 to $27, I believe, and two fragrances that I think are affordable and good for the spring to summer kind of weather is Eden Juicy Apple. This is so raved about, and it really is a giant juicy apple. It's so uplifting. You, it's gonna put a smile on your face. It's gonna give you. It's gonna put you in a really, really good mood. Honestly, guys, you know what? I'm wearing Princess by Killian. Um, I'm about to layer this with Eden Juicy Apple. Ooh, girl. Okay, so I do have to go ahead and credit someone for that laying co layering combination. No, I did not. Just think of that right now. And I'm going to put her username right here. Um, her username is Joy Unspeakable 
on TikTok. I'm not exactly sure if she has any other social media, but she's a really great content creator and I really enjoy following her. I really do like that fragrance. Is it one of my favorites? No, it's not. But it is a really good fragrance and it's fun. It's a really fun fragrance. It's just a playful fragrance. Um, it's going to make you really happy. And lots of berries, florals. It's a flirty. <laughs> Flirty, yes, it is flirty, um, but it is a floral gourmand fruity fragrance, and I just adore it. I wasn't too crazy about it when I first got it. I was like, ooh, this smells a little cheap, but honestly, the more I wear it, I just find it to be fun, and you know, it doesn't always have to be serious or, you know, sophisticated, but I definitely feel like it's a fun fragrance, and you'll definitely get a kick out of it if you do decide to get it. And the next one is Elixir. Um... This is another fragrance that had to grow on me a little bit, but now I absolutely adore it. You know, it's just very rosy. You do get nuances of some apple. There's some apple in the opening, and it's really pretty. It goes into a very pretty, sophisticated rose, and I feel like it's light enough to where you could wear it in hotter weather. This is a good, affordable fragrance for the hotter months to come. If you decide to get the travel size, which I don't know, with the Kayali fragrance, this is kind of weird because you can get the one that actually looks like a travel, and then you could get this one. Um, it's like a do I think it's like two dollars more expensive, but it's like a mini bottle, and I feel like. Um, this counts because it's a little bottle but yes this is another affordable option so I just mentioned this before and this is the Brazilian Crush Jerosa 39 this is coconut cream and toasted praline honestly I feel like these are pretty straightforward guys they're body mist they project great the name really does describe them you definitely get like a toasted nutty coconut and it adds some depth if you have like a fresher coconut, it definitely adds some depth when you mix the two. Um, like I said before, the late to cocoa in this, it just is so creamy and slightly nutty and heavenly and I just really do enjoy the two layer together. And then you have the Brazilian Crush Charosa. Um, this is the Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. I really do like this one. It's a nice body spray. It definitely gives off Ariana Grande cloud vibes, but less coconut. Well, if you go on for a Grantica, people say it's reminiscent of Baccarat Rouge. So if you kind of can understand where people go with that kind of DNA, you can pretty much assume what this smells like for the most part, but it is a body mist. Um, but the Sol de Janeiro body mists are really good quality. I have nearly all of them except for the newest one that they just put on Sephora a couple of days ago. I do plan on getting that one. But yes, I definitely do enjoy this. These two have been going back and forth with the hotter weather coming, um, but I do have you know other ones that I do love and adore but these have just been out and in my rotation lately um, but these are both affordable options these ones are like the mini ones so I believe the smaller ones retail for like 10 to 12 dollars the next one up is like 25 and then the next one up is like 36 so they're all affordable it just kind of depends on what size you're gonna get and how much you love them and the last affordable fragrance that I'm gonna be discussing or yeah, because the next ones are body oils, but the actual like spray fragrance that I'm going to be discussing the last one is Choco Musk, and I really enjoy this. I got it for $12, I believe, like $12 for this whole thing, like come on guys, that's amazing. When you spray, you definitely do get the vanilla, but then you get chocolate, and you get a baked cookie type of vibe, but like a fluffy, definitely get like a fluffy delicious like I just am getting major vanilla extract vibes I feel like this would probably layer very well with vanilla 28 and again guys um all of the Kayali's if you get them in the smaller size they're all going to be affordable those just so happen to be the ones that I have out and ones that I've been enjoying as of late but um Choco Musk is just really really good it smells like warm baked cookies it's super super affordable um I will have a link down below. It is an affiliate link. If you want to use it, feel free. If you don't want to use it, that is fine. I don't mind. Um, it's not going to charge you any more or less whether you use it or you don't. But yes, I really, really do like this and it's really affordable and this was kind of like my intro fragrance into um, Arabian fragrances. Now, like I had perfume oils, but this was like my first actual spray fragrance. And I'm really happy to have this in my collection and I'm really kind of excited to explore some more Arabian fragrances. So if you have any suggestions, um, let me know because I have had my eyes on a few. I have been looking at Leali Rouge, I think it's called. It's like um, tropical. 
and I know that's an oil, but I'm definitely looking into that and a few other ones. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, because guys, I'm, I'm mad excited. Like, this type of quality for the price is crazy, and I should have been on this a while ago. So guys, that wraps it up for the actual spray fragrances, but I do want to go ahead and talk about a few honorable mentions. Um, just because they are fragrance, they're just oils, and they are the most affordable ones on this list. I think the most expensive one was maybe $10. And they're all on Amazon. Again, I will have the links down below. This is Choco Musk. Again, it goes with the spray. The perfume oil is definitely a lot stronger. If a fragrance is a little more distinguishable in the perfume oil, um, I got this one first, so I don't want to say it was a letdown because I, when I layered them, of course they smelled beautiful. But I definitely feel like... If you are not looking to do too much and you don't plan on layering them like that, I would definitely go for the perfume oil. It is more affordable and I feel like the projection and the flavor, I guess you could say, if you will, the scent is more distinct. And I really do enjoy this. I believe this was like seven, eight dollars. Um, again, I'm going to put my link down below if you want to use it. Thank you. The next one I'm going to be talking about is Golden Sand. So one of my subscribers mentioned this to me in one of my first videos and I'm so happy that she did. Um, this is Golden Sand and it is reminiscent of Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues, which I do have, but this is way more affordable and while they may not be exactly the same, this is just gorgeous. Caramel, Vanilla, Amber, Oud, and Floral Notes. So for me, I definitely get the Caramel, Vanilla, and the Oud. I feel like I kind of have to search for it. Or maybe I've just got grown so accustomed to oud because a lot of my fragrances have it. I'm used to it like projecting like crazy. But I'm not really picking up on the floral notes. I feel like this is definitely a lot more gourmand. Um, if you're a beginner with oud, this might actually be a really good option for you just because I feel like you can't smell it as much. It's definitely warm, but this is definitely very gourmand, very edible, makes your mouth water. And the last one I'm going to talk about is Love Apple. This one is gorgeous. I mostly, I'm in this, I just pick up an apple and cinnamon. That, those are the main two things I pick up. I believe there's a musk note in there somewhere. I'm not really getting musky. My boyfriend said he got kind of like a smoky vibe from it. Um, I could possibly see that. I I have to search for it after he mentioned it. I was like, mm, okay, maybe I could kind of pick up on that a little bit. But I don't find it to be too smoky. I definitely find it to be a really true apple. Very cinnamon. I feel like it's a warmer fragrance for sure. Um, and again, it's very edible. It's very gourmand. It's very fruity. And I feel like it's slightly fresh. Like, I know it's kind of contradicting, like, smoky and, like, fresh. I definitely feel like it's fresh. It's not, like, you know, soapy. It's not, like, a clean girl fragrance. I don't want you to get that idea. But I definitely do sense, like, you know, it's not, like, a super candied apple or anything. It's definitely just, like, a fresh cut apple with some cinnamon. Like, huge, plump, juicy red apple with cinnamon and those are the vibes that I'm getting from this. I definitely feel like this is the perfect spring fragrance um, going into summer. I feel like spring and summer is really just for coconuts and apples or maybe that's just my vibes this year. I know pistachio is super hot right now but I've been really interested in coconut and apple. But um, yes guys those are my more affordable picks. Very 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 affordable group of fragrances. Very versatile. You guys do not have to spend a lot of money to smell good. And that is something I realized a little bit later into my fragrance journey. If you're looking to build a large collection quickly, I would definitely say, you know, cheaper fragrances are your way to go. Arabian fragrances are your way to go. I know that everyone's getting into Arabian fragrances this year. And I'm a little bit late on the, on the Arabian fragrance train. If you have any other suggestions or you want to talk about some 
affordable fragrances that you've been loving lately, go ahead and comment that down below, guys. I am really interested. Um, and also, I kind of want to know the notes that you guys have been really enjoying lately. Like I said, me, I've been super into the coconuts and apples for whatever reason. It's just been heavy on my mind and my heart and my soul lately. Thank you guys so much for watching me talk and ramble on about perfume for an extended period of time. I really do appreciate the continued support and love and the conversations and friendships that I'm creating really do mean the most to me. If you could go ahead and give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe, and be a friend. Join my family, my little YouTube family here. That would be great. So yes, guys, until next time, stay safe, happy, and stay smelling good, guys. Bye. <laughs>